All right, um, I'm going to explain how the immune system works uh, with HIV. We'll do the regular immune system and then the HIV, but I'm going to use uh, some extra characters here. So uh, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're probably going to catch on pretty quick of who I'm using. All right, so here we go. So first, uh, we've got our dead guys here. So I use these stormtroopers because they're really not good for a whole lot else but dying. So uh, they're my they're my dead cells. Um, and we'll say that they got infected by this particular germ. All right. Now this little germ, he's going to hide. All right. He's already done his damage here, and he's going to hide. We're going to put him back here next to a can of chicken noodle soup, because uh, everybody knows when you're sick, you like chicken noodle soup. So we're going to put him right over there. All right. So he's trying to hide, try to trying to lay low. All right. So we've got this thing here called the macrophage. Now you remember what the macrophage does? <clears throat> That's right, the macrophage. Uh, what it does is it kind of tools around. The, uh, the system here, checking out things, and it comes across these dead cells here. And so what it does is it picks up all the data about why these cells are dead, what happened to them, and it stores all that data in there, and then it reports to the helper T cell. That's right. Remember what the helper T cell does? The helper T cell's job is to control or coordinate the whole immune system. So the helper T cell's right here. The macrophage, he reports to the helper T cell and he gives all of his data to the helper T cell and uh, the helper T cell says hmm I sense there's some disturbance in the immune system I see I will call on my friends to help me and so he calls the killer T cell and he calls on the uh, B cell with his trusty uh, friend the antibody alright so here we go here's our main players of the immune system so <clears throat> While the germ was killing all these cells, it kind of created a little henchman that we're going to call the infected cell. And the infected cell is hidden somewhere trying to disguise himself as a healthy cell. So what happens is, is because the macrophage has given all the information to the helper T cell, he goes back to his business, the helper T cell says, mm -hmm. Killer T cell, job for you I have. Mm -hmm. And the killer T cell jumps into action, and the two of them start to fight. All right. Next, he says, "Hmm, B cell antibodies quickly send. You must." So boom, he looks around and he sees that sneaky little infection right over here, and he says, "Antibody, oh, I want you to go attack that that uh, germ." Do, 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 do. Over he goes. He grabs that germ, holds it up over his head. That little germ can't do anything anymore, so it's been neutralized. That's what the antibody does, okay? Neutralize that germ. It can't spread anymore. Meanwhile, we've got the killer T cell is duking it out over here, and boom, destroys that infected cell. Uh, no more germs can be spread, and so therefore, uh, we now have the immune system is healthy. We'll throw him overboard, all right? So now we've got... The immune system, nice and healthy, everybody's doing good, no main problems, these guys are all cleaned up. And away we go, until another germ comes around. Or another germ comes around. Another germ comes around. Or even this little germ right here comes around. If any of these germs come around, the same thing's going to happen. The macrophage is going to figure out what's going on. It's going to report to the helper T cell, who's going to coordinate the whole immune system. It's going to enlist the help of the B cell with his trusty sidekick, the antibody. And he's also going to enlist the help of the killer T cell so that he can keep the germs from spreading. All right? And they're basically going to boom, 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 boom. All right? And that's basically how the immune system works. All right? So... Now let's change it up, reset our board, so to speak, and let's show what happens when HIV enters the system. So we've reset our board, and we're going to take a look at what happens when HIV comes into the system. All right. Now HIV is a little bit different because it attacks a certain type of cell. All right. So what happens is, is HIV comes in, and what cell does it attack? Remember? That's right. The helper, I'm um, sorry, yeah, the helper T cell. Boom. Done. Helper T cell's gone. All right? So now, this particular virus doesn't have to hide anywhere. 
and it's in, it enlisted the help of all of his henchmen infected cells. Do, 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 do. Here they are, all of his little henchmen right there. Okay, so now the macrophage is tooling around, going through the system and finding all these dead cells that that HIV is attacking, which happen to be helper T cells. So what does the macrophage do? Do 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 do, and it tries to report to the helper T cell. All right, but the helper T cells aren't around. There's not as many of them. So the killer T cell doesn't know what to do. <clears throat> it doesn't realize that it's got to jump into action, or it tries, and it just flat out gets overwhelmed because there's too many infected cells for it to be able to do what it's supposed to do. All right, the B cell notices or sees. He, he understands that there's a germ in here, and he identifies the germ. Here's the germ right here, and he enlists the help of his trusty sidekick, the B cell. But the B cell just can't get a hold of him. Waboom! 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 All right? This particular virus is just too tough. The antibodies don't work. All right? And so eventually, the antibodies just get tired and they quit. All right? Now, what happens when this germ shows up? And what happens when this germ shows up? And what happens when, and what happens when this little germ shows up? And what happens when this germ shows up? And what happens when this germ shows up? So now what we have is all of our opportunistic infections, except for this one because he doesn't want to stand up, all these opportunistic infections start to take over. All right, and so now we've got HIV in the lead. We have our killer T cell is gone. We have all of our infected cells getting more and more infected, affected and spreading. And pretty soon, what happens is is the entire immune system then breaks down and uh, can't fight off any of these opportunistic infections. And these opportunistic infections are the ones that actually destroy everything. Uh, HIV just kind of kind of whoops sits around, and watches it all happen. All right, and that's basically how uh, HIV attacks the immune system and wins. All right, so as you can see, HIV can be a pretty nasty virus to get in your system. Uh, we're going to be learning in this unit um, how this disease is spread and how the disease is not spread. Uh, so this is definitely not a disease that you want to mess with. But if you do, may the force be with you.